This golf club, if in the right hands, can hit a ball so hard that by the time you turn your head to see where the ball is going, it's already gone. It's powered by these 27 caliber blanks. And if you hit the ball just at the right spot, the driver goes boom and the ball is sent flying. So the idea here is that there's going to be a chamber and a piston inside of the driver head. And when you hit the ball, the impact of the ball will push the piston back, which will push the blank on this pin here. When that happens, the blank is ignited and an explosion happens. All of the high pressure inside will push the piston really fast and send the ball flying. All of this will happen in a fraction of a second. So I found this old flashlight, which seems like the perfect piece of aluminum to start with. When you open up the top, the hole where the LED was is surrounded by a solid chunk of aluminum and the blank fits almost perfectly in there. Okay, so now it's time to assemble all of this and finally test it. Oh yeah, I forgot one thing. I want to add some foam or some soft rubber between the rod and the end of the piston so that when the piston is pushed forward by the explosion, it doesn't come smashing on the rod at full speed and break something. I spent way too much time building. That's much better. Before I put this in a golf driver, I want to make sure it's strong enough and won't blow up. So I made this testing rig here and we'll see what happens. I pulled out the blank and it seems like the pin is not hitting on the edge enough. That should be a quick fix. It hit the ball so hard that everything shifted back. And I was only using these green blanks. I might try the red ones later, which are way more powerful. Now I need to somehow attach this to a golf driver and also try to make it fit. I'm gonna start with this junior driver I had when I was younger. And if it works well, I'm gonna move to a full size one.
This is one heavy golf club. If something breaks because of the strong recoil of the piston, my prediction is that it's going to break right there. This is what it looks like when you have a driver that's way too small for you and you try to hit the ball just at the right spot. But when you hit the ball just at the right spot, this is what happens. The ball goes so fast that you can't even see where it goes. After a few shots, the piston assembly broke. The aluminum rod preventing the piston from flying out got bent. And I couldn't take it out and try to fix it because it was glued in there. So I made a new one. This one, the piston fits almost perfectly in the chamber and makes a really good seal. So this one should be even more powerful. I also made a mount plate to attach a threaded fitting to the driver. So that way I can take out the whole piston assembly to fix it if ever it breaks. Remember when I said I might try a red blank later? Well, the time has come. Okay, I was not expecting that. So much pressure got built up inside that the blank got squished. And also the backing plate holding the firing pin got bent. I had to see how fast the ball was going. So I measured the distance the ball traveled in a single frame. This was filmed at 240 frames per second and the ball traveled 48 centimeters in one frame. That equals to 11,520 centimeters per second, which is 257 miles per hour. That's not too bad considering the average ball speed of an average golfer is 133 miles per hour and 167 miles per hour for a PGA Tour player. And you don't even need to hit the ball hard for this driver to work. Just giving the ball a small tap will do. 